Well, welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. Welcome to Animal Kingdom. Real quick, we've got an update actually at the entrance of Animal Kingdom. For those of you who may be needing some additional assistance right away before entering, Guest Relations is actually has a temporary little uh, relocation. It's actually gonna be to the left over here. This is where Guest Relations is now outside of the park. I believe they're redoing Guest Relations, so it's been moved just to the way left of the entrance. Yeah. This is where guest relations used to be and still will be in the future. I believe they're just like refurbishing the inside of guest relations on the outside of Animal Kingdom. But if you still need to use it inside, it's it's still open. That's where that is. But we'll see when this opens. Just a little remodel of guest relations. Oh, I've never been over here before. What's over here? I never even realized this existed. Ah, oh, it's a dead end, okay. Dead end. With that, everybody, welcome back to your Daily Dose. Today's gonna be a really fun day. We're actually meeting up with a, a good friend that we haven't really seen in a while, but we just discovered we have something in common. We have a pretty big news net, or a pretty big announcement regarding the channel and, and myself that we're gonna be sharing with our friend here, not today, but in the future, which is very exciting, and I can't wait to tell you guys more about it in today's video. I mean, not only a personal personal announcement, but we also have announcements regarding Animal Kingdom that have kind of been discovered a few weeks ago, but I haven't had the time to tell y'all. However, I did notice out front we have the National Geographic sign Still here for a little photo opportunity if you wish. April 21st, looks like The Secrets of Octopus is gonna be coming on Disney Plus. I guess speaking of Disney Plus too, do you guys see it's gonna kinda gonna go back to a cable version in a way? I don't really mind this change. What I mean is, you know, on Disney Plus and streaming services, you have to pick what you wanna watch. Well, I believe that you can still do that and there's gonna be an option where you can actually watch it kind of like cable there's going to be certain categories that are continuously running like cable runs so you won't have to choose something if you wish kind of nice but i don't know what do you guys think we're rolling on in at 8 30. 8 30. they don't really know how the crowds are going to be today but they're not going to be like peak when we were here last time so we're kind of getting back into the groove of things here at disney world just to kind of see how the crowds are, but I don't really expect it to be as crowded because I feel like spring break has kind of died down and we're in that limbo stage, but it's still going to be up there in, in park attendance, but this looks great. We've got space to move. A couple, so we, a couple weeks ago, we, we couldn't do that. This is a good start. It's a great start. By the way, for those who tune in daily, yes, yesterday was technically a re-upload in a way. We're just trying something new. We're just trying something new. I compiled all my Disney Wish videos together and just wanted to see what YouTube did with it. So we'll find out in the next coming days. However, this again is, it's really nice. So far, like a relatively peaceful morning. I wanna check to see what the wait times are and we'll, we'll go from there. We're also still waiting for a friend to show up. Wait times are what you would expect in the morning here at Animal Kingdom. Half the park is utilized and half the park is completely empty. Oh, and I do want to talk about some cool updates regarding Dinoland USA. No one's in the gift shop, which makes it a perfect opportunity to look at the new merch that was recently released here at Walt Disney World. It's the Up Collection. This whole section is brand spanking new. We're gonna start out with this Doug, very plushy, pillowy. This, they, they make these for different characters too, but it's very soft, 44 bucks. Very soft, see, they make it for Baymax too. Must be popular. We have a Kevin plush here, wow. A little more expensive than I thought, 34.99. Adventure, or the Adventure Never End shirt. Deluxe up fingerings of all the characters, 29.99. It's a really cool lounge fly. I actually really like this one. It's a scent too. Can't really smell it. I think you have to get up and personal with it. $78.99 for this very cool up lounge fly. 
Some of this I don't think is new, like the, the Wilderness Explorer hat. I believe they've had this, $29.99. Adventure awaits shirt, pretty expensive actually, $64.99. It's, it's that athleisure, so it's not all cotton. That's what's gonna make it a little bit more expensive. Oh, sorry, no, I thought it was, nope, it is 64. I thought it said 54, but it's 69. Got a nice little jacket here, zip up jacket. It's the price on this bad boy. Here's a look at the, the front of it, $64.99. Costs the same as that shirt up there. That's crazy. This is Corksicle. $44.99, yep, Corkscle. That's a cool design. I don't know what this is for. It's just like some nice little purse type thing, $24.99. We have some ornaments. I don't believe these are new. These look very similar to what I've seen in the past. Wilderness Explorer hat. This though is new. It's a packable blanket, $44.99 for for this, can you see the whole design? You cannot. Adventures out there, great grape soda, $22.99. What is this? Adventure awaits, choose your path. On, off, is this, is this like a mister? I don't know what to make of this. And then to round it off, we have another lounge fly here. Actually, there's two of them. Oh, look at that. Well, we have a Carl lounge fly, and then we have a Doug lounge fly. Oh, wait a second. Look at this, a light up wall decor item. What is this? This is kind of neat. I don't really know what it does. So I think, does the balloon actually float? Or do you have to hang it? I think you have to hang it on the wall. How neat. And then of course we have a very empty store. Oh, check it out. They actually have some art in this shop now. That's a cool one. It's $3,000, okay. Well, they got some expensive art at that. That one, I think, no, this, wait. No, that is $3, bird dog. Nice. Well, this is expensive, it's about 600 bucks. That one's also $3,000. Okay, what a morning. They actually have some more outside and it's just here for, for Earth Month. So if you guys wanna check out Earth Month inspired art. It's right here at Island Mercantile. This one's cool. 149. No one really pops. Okie dokie. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a bird just chilling, enjoying getting rolled. <laughs> wet by the waterfall here. That's so funny. All right, everybody, we kind of are in a corner here, but for those of you who do not know, I'm here with one of my friends from a long time ago who is now a creator herself. If you guys remember, we have Sam here. Hi. How have you been? We haven't seen you in a while. It's been good. I've, I've been so busy. I launched my own business. I, you know, lost 20 pounds. Uh, <laughs> I've just been creating, I've been living my best life. I really can't complain. I, I feel like uh, life has been awesome. As a content creator, right? I mean, you were yeah. always a content creator, but now you're yeah. doing it full time. Now I'm full time, which is awesome. And it's like not just for like my page, which is cool. I create for like other businesses. So I'm not always in the content or like the center of it. Um, it's for other brands and it's really fun. It's really an cool. entrepreneur. It's worth it. Yeah, I love it. It's awesome. I'm gonna link whatever, sh oh my gosh, Pocahontas. Oh, uh, whatever. Hold on, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> Pocahontas is just strolling on by. Oh, I don't think they, they saw us. We're kind of like in a hidden spot. However, however, I'm gonna link down her socials. Whatever she sends me will be down below if you wanna follow Sam. Cause it's been a while. I mean, you, yeah. you were, you know, and was it 2022? Like every, you know, every so often you'd be in the yeah, vlogs? Yeah, I feel like the last time, the last time I saw you was October. Right? It's been a while, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, and I feel like the last time you were in my video was my birthday last year. Was the live stream? Oh. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. Oh. That was fun. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't that bad on my birthday. <laughs> wasn't that bad? No. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> By the way, two guys, um, we're friends. Casey's okay with it. We're obviously friends. Okay. Two buddies. Cool. Got it. Two brothers. Got it. All right. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> I forgot one thing. Uh, let us wander around the park real quick because we both kind of have something very exciting to announce that we discovered that we both are 
doing, which is very exciting. I'm can so you excited. can you guys guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? It's a funny story actually. We're just seeing seeing everybody today. Hey! How's it going? Park. Dak hits great when there's nobody here as well. I mean, that's any Disney park. Um, Sam wants to actually do a little stop here at the tea company. I've never actually stopped here before, so this is nice. What, what, are, you, what are you getting? I'm getting the Lion Latte, and it is the best coffee on Disney property. I'll die on the hill. Best coffee on Disney property. If that's a strong statement, it definitely is a strong statement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one. I might as well. I already had my coffee this morning, but she says it's the strongest. We gotta get one ourselves. So let's do it. Usually this is a long line. If you guys were here on the Spring Lake vlogs, here in the morning this line was wrapped around over there. Nothing anymore today. I might have gotten this in the past. I feel like I've been here one time before, but it's been like two years. Like two years since Sam's been on the vlog, so we'll try it. All right, here's the Lion's Latte. A roaring latte with coconut syrup, white chocolate sauce, topped with whipped cream, white chocolate sauce, and shredded coconut. And I'm gonna get that donut as well. By the way, if you guys didn't know, this is, it's Joffrey's, but it's so themed. That's what's really cool, obviously, about Animal Kingdom is everything's just themed to the max, which Sam was saying, this is her favorite, her favorite park, but you know, it's like, my, it's growing on me. Definitely not my favorite, but it's definitely like the most themed. There's a nice little area to sit all the way down here and honestly like I never ever come down here it's so themed it's honestly is probably the best themed Disney park for sure but here is the lion comes with a mountain of whipped cream here I like how they put lion on it let's try it all right cheers but this is uh, Sam also actually I'll let you I'll, I won't take the roar away from your thunder that made no sense but what, what do you what do you like about this? What I like about this is that it's a coconut latte, and it's so good. It has a little coconut like flakes on top, and then if you're like feeling like you know having a fun little park day, you can add a shot of Bailey's in it. That'll change your life. That'll change your life. This is a life changing latte. Animal Kingdom then will become a full park day for you guys, and you can keep it going on over to Epcot. Yeah, definitely. Let's take a sip. I actually already had a sip, and this is a chugger. Yeah, it's actually really good. Not good for us, but definitely good for our caffeine kick. It's a chugger. Ooh. Wow, look at that donut. It is, it's huge and it's really soft too, which that's when you know it's fresh. The diet goes away when you come to the Disney parks. It's a good donut. It's a very good donut. Just saw, saw this sign too. This seating area is five stars rated for tourists. Lantern Festival, seating areas, which is right here. So nice. Just the festival going on. Safety begins with us. We just found, well, there it is, there it is, glass on the floor. We're gonna throw it out. Two former Disney employees or cast members. We're doing our part. Everybody is a custodian. We are the magic. We are the we magic. We are the magic. <laughs> I feel like we never have to be worried about spiders, but in this area, there's so many cobwebs. It's actually crazy. But we're in a nice, really, really like kind of peaceful place right now. I wanted to talk about like the exciting announcement that I haven't shared with you, but if you've been following Sam, she shared something. It's kind of a funny story on how it was all like evolved, I guess. Is that the right word, evolved? Yeah, that's, we'll, we'll take that. So, um, actually, I kind of want you to say what, what, what happened for you. Well, because I don't want to take away your thunder because this is actually really cool. I'm super excited. Yeah. I have gotten invited to my very first Disney media event, which is crazy. I've never like, I honestly cried when I got the email because it's just so cool and so exciting. But I tweeted about it or X, is it X? X, yeah. X. And Kyle texted me and he was like, oh my gosh, no way. Congratulations, so proud of you. And then- I saw the day of, I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We were vibing. We were vibing. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, congrats. It's awesome. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Sam. I mean, and then a couple days later, Kyle found <laughs> out that he was invited, but didn't know because it was in like your like. It was in my junk. Your junk. Request. For some reason, it Sometimes always goes happens. to 
my junk. And I have like a rule for when Disney emails me that I get it in my inbox. And they, the, the team kind of knows to text me because they, they texted me. They're like, hey, you want to go to this? I'm like, yeah, sorry. I don't know what happened, but it happened. Yeah. But we're both going and it's relatively soon. I'm so excited. I'm just like super thankful. Like, this is so cool. I'm like super smiling about it. It's awesome. I can't wait. I'm pumped for her. And I'm pumped for, you know, everybody else who got invited in for me to join Sam on her first. But I'm not making this about me. It's about Sam. Yeah, it's about me. I'm just <laughs> so cool, though. It's awesome. I'm excited. It'll be cool. I'm probably going to cry when I'm there, too, because it'll be like just like one of those, like, I don't know, one of those moments where I never thought I would ever get invited to one of those. You did. Yeah. yeah but you, now here I am. You, she gets invited to so, so cool. many things, too. She's a great creator. So, again, down below, you want to follow her journey, her Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is. Um, I'll leave it down below. Yeah. However, I've actually never been to what we're doing. I've never been there. Me neither. Yeah. Yeah, it's my first time. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. More on that a little bit later. We're keeping it a little bit secret, but um, big exciting news is I guess we're both going to a Disney media event. Yeah, how exciting. Maybe we'll sit next to each other. Maybe. I don't know if we have the right, the same times. I remember how we were talking about that. No, yeah, you're right. So we'll see. Okay, just kidding. We'll see. Casey's coming. Do you have a guest yet? Yes. Okay. You have to see who she brings but case is coming for me all right exciting news big exciting news is there a guy by us all the time oh, he yeah. was, he was he, behind us. oh who's he <laughs> he heard all the news too he said, he said i'm so excited for you guys <laughs> i'm so pumped that's so cool and he literally cheered he was clapping in the background Did you he hear was him? it was crazy he was me when i found out you got your first disney media event dude i was so pumped for you by the way guys it's it's earth month and earth day is actually monday this upcoming Monday, we might be back here at Animal Kingdom and see what they do, but they don't really have too much here right now other than cupcakes. Nothing really new that we've seen in the past. All right, as we are walking towards Dino Land, we have some updates on some new concept art on what this front is actually gonna look like. Sam is not happy about this this update that is definitely coming and we'll get to reasons why here in a second because it's my CP my CP was here I was on primeval world triceratops spin I'm sad I'm actually very sad because this is like I was so excited to like maybe one day bring my kids, bring my kids here and be like look this is where I work and then it's not gonna be here it's not I'm gonna be here upset. I'm, I'm it, fuming it's definitely leaving, for sure. For sure. And here's the reasons why. Well, we already know because of the construction permits that are filed behind Animal Kingdom when they're building stuff, but on your your uh, screen right now is actually an image of the concept art here at the front on what this is possibly going to look like. This definitely looks like the entrance to the tropicals of America, which is what they're gonna basically be calling this section of Dino Land. Again, nothing's confirmed, but we did see this recently in a, I believe it was the Imagineer YouTube video that they released, and people were screenshotting, Disney was showing this. Obviously, they uh, they want us to see this, and they want us to talk about it, because it's definitely happening. But this is gonna be like the front. It kinda looks like they're moving this little shed thing just a little bit to the left, and they're gonna have like stairs that go down this way. Again, nothing is confirmed, but this is definitely where that piece of concept art or the model that they had showed in the video is located, I believe. And again, this is gonna be Tropicals of America. You're gonna have Indiana Jones, which is gonna be replacing Dino, sorry, Dino Land, Dinosaur. Again, this is all what if, but it's desp yeah, speculation, but it's definitely happening. Is it gonna happen how these models have it? I don't know. I wanna go to Dinosaur. I think we're gonna ride Dinosaur and show you guys the temple, which is Indiana Jones Temple. Sam and I were just talking, like, what do they do with this stuff once they get rid of it? Like, where do they go with this dinosaur? Do they recycle it? <laughs> Does it go to Cast Connections? Which is where cast members can buy stuff? Is Cast Connections? I don't know. As soon as they announce this, I'm gonna have a walkthrough of Dino Land, because it's kind of cool to have a piece forever on YouTube. But like, look at this, there's no one, there's no one here, and we've already gone on reasons why, and no, we're here. it's this is great. We're here. I mean, we it's almost ten o'clock here, and we've got the whole place to ourselves. Yeah. Except Casimir is walking through. Is that Imagineering? Could have been. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
They're surveying the area. Honestly, I, for as many times as I come here, I didn't know that there was actually animals in this area. It's a tortoise and a stork. And look, they're all guarding an egg. I don't know if that's Disney magic or if that's a real egg because usually they'll place like a false egg and they'll incubate it behind the scenes to make sure it survives. I know they do that with, um, I think the, the birds. What are those pink birds called? Flamingos. Flamingos. I believe so. I think they take the flamingos. Oh no, it's the vultures. It, there's a, actually a Disney Plus episode on it. They take like the vultures' eggs and incubate it. I don't know if that's the same for these guys, but fun fact. That's what they do. Oh my goodness. I forgot about this too. For Restaurant Resorts, they actually have like a live musician imprompting, imprompt, imprompting? Improving music here around lunchtime. So if you guys want to check that out, it's yeah, inside the bar too. Oh. Yeah. Animal Kingdom Day. Yeah. yeah. After you had the lines last time with, with <laughs> yeah. the shot of Bailey's. Tonight. We have a lot of full Animal Kingdom Days. So many to count. We're joking. Well, she likes to do full Animal Kingdom Days. I just do half days. It's 10 o'clock and dinosaurs still walk on. What a difference a few weeks can make. Wow. All right, on your screen right now is actually going to be the concept arts, or not the concept art, the model that Disney released. That's going to be like Indiana Jones Temple and, and stuff. I don't know if they're going to be completely redoing the ride, but it's all speculation. Disney's announced any, nothing at all. We'll see what comes. I'm trying to buy that Iguanodon. <laughs> Sam wants to buy everything. She wants the Iguanodon. I'm going to put the Iguanodon in my front yard. That would be quite the stunning attraction. Honestly, like, you imagine that in your front yard? Instead of a fountain, just having to go on it on? This is the first movie that ever made me cry. Did it? Yeah, I felt, I really felt it. You felt the emotions? Yeah, I was like, super young. Well, let's go get that dino. Five minutes. Walking on dinosaur at 10 o'clock. The light was on the entire time in here. I feel like in the morning they kind of just say whatever because no one's here. Let's go get that dino. Let's go get the dino. Just noticed it's so like empty at DAC. They're not even running the other side of the ride. They're only doing one half of it. Which is kind of cool because you never see the time rovers just sitting here unless you're here early early in the morning. But this is a sign that today is a great day to be here. I feel like I've only seen this a couple times. This is secret. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the and get out with one and a half white Let's roll. So bumpy. Warning. Polyoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Oh gosh! I got a car! Ah! Carnivorous. Definitely not. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Carnivorous. Oh my gosh! They're not gonna ready room before Louie decided to use the gauntlet of Medusa as a dog. Okay. Well, that was quite the adventure, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, guys. Remember Case and I were just at Disney Springs the other day? Well look at what we have here. Good to know that they have this spirit jer or sorry the jersey, baseball jersey here. I ordered it online though, but they have it here in the park. Good to know if you're looking for this line. We're just having a magical day today. I don't really know like, like who's all here. I feel like if you have spring break, luckily at this time, you are just lucking out. I feel like Texas might be having spring break now or is spring break over in general? Comment down below because you know, each area in the country has spring break at a different time. If you have it right now, come to Disney because this is great. 
It's crazy that this is a Disney park. Howdy. Howdy, cousins. Do y'all do y'all think that they're gonna sell this? What are, like what are they gonna do with this dinosaur in this area? <laughs> I will take him instantly. Well, I think we're gonna be heading on over to Flight of Passage because believe it or not, right now Flight of Passage has like a 50 minute wait time, and we're curious how long that's gonna take and how long it actually is because when you see it that low these days, you don't really see that kind of like midday. So we're gonna go test that out. Also, regarding yesterday's video, thanks for those who tuned in. It was kind of a, it well, still is. It's an ongoing test, just to see how it performs on YouTube. It was more so just for like the YouTube algorithm. Those who tuned in, I appreciate you, I thank you. And I feel like uh, I had like a day to work with, an experimental video, so that was what yesterday was. I informed you guys a couple days ago on that that was coming, and just wanted to see what it will do. It's gonna be like a test for like the next couple months just to see what that video does. I don't know, just changing things up. And that's okay, I have like 300, 90,000 days a year to do something new and I decided to do something new. All right, wait time just went up to 75. We're gonna see where the line is. We have this pack that if the line isn't in like the first cave scene, we're gonna wait. Because it's in the first cave scene, usually it's a little bit longer than what it's posted. So cross your fingers, it's not there. You know, very rarely do we see this queue either. The outside, because we're always buying a lightning lane. I'll always get a lightning lane for flight. It's just like the one that is obviously of great value. But welcome back to Flight of Passages queue. Let's hope this line isn't too long. Again, it's 75, so we'll see. Well, everybody, I've got good news. The line is not in the first cave, so we're gonna wait and see how long this is. You know what I can't wait? I cannot wait for uh, the Disneyland Forward. They're actually voting on today over in California. What is you know it? that? They're, what is that? It's, it's the new uh, expansion for Disneyland. Oh, it is in the oh. cave. It's wait, this. are they doing one? They're voting on the approval today, so we'll see what happens. Well, the line's in this cave. Technically not the first, but we're gonna wait. We're committed now. Any guesses on how long this is gonna take? To me, this looks really good with my new camera. What do you guys think? Also, I feel like we haven't been in line that long. Let's check. Kind of halfway through. It's only been 15 minutes here. We just reached the hour wait time. The wait, the posted wait time, just went up to 90. So I feel like this is why the wait time is gonna be a little bit longer than what we actually had. Got a little bit more to go from here, probably about a half hour. Oh my gosh, we finally made it. One hour and 15 minutes so far. The way you'll be able to fly is by linking to an avatar that's already on the back of a Necron. Let's see how this works. Bing, bada safety, boom, bada boom. Hour and a half. Motor, we did it though. Whoa, what is going on? That officially took us an hour and 40 minutes. Didn't think that was gonna happen, but it did. The wait time actually is 70. I think they just had a backup in the lightning lane, but hey, worth it every time. Just uh, see, Disney doesn't really lie about wait times. I know that's only one test, but it can happen like that. I guess we'll test it one more day. Some other day, not, not today. What if we did it like... Go well, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Of course. Probably see you at our event or the event. Oh, I'm 
so excited. I'm so thankful. It'll be so fun. It's going to be fun. Just like today. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.